Hey everybody, good morning. Welcome to uh, uh, Nehemiah 3. Um, it, it's actually a, 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 a very repetitive chapter. Uh, you just see uh, that the different people all throughout the city uh, are working to repair sections uh, that they can be responsible for. They are responsible for just a little bit. And, and you see all of this and you see people helping each other and stuff like that. You, you see a community of God followers acting like a community of God followers. You you see them, everybody doing their part and everybody helping each other and stuff like that. And and it's um it's just really cool to see them all work towards one goal. And you know, did God said that to us. He said that we're, that he wants us all of one accord. He wants us all of one mind. And when we're all doing that, when we're all working together towards the same goal, the power of the Holy Spirit can be released, you know? And it, it, pretty fitting on this day of Pentecost, as we're celebrating Pentecost today, that we see all the people working together here to accomplish one goal. And it, it, God loves, God loves it when we come together and work together and just do and perform his will. Is God didn't make any of us to be loners. He made all of us to work together. We're interwoven in the kingdom of God. You see, a pastor needs evangelists. A pastor needs helpers. You see, an evangelist does a great job of bringing people to Christ, but then it takes the next person to go ahead and help mature those people in Christ, help teach them the Bible. You see, it takes all of us working together to properly disciple. It takes all of us working together to properly fulfill the will of God. We need each other. You know, we talk, I talk all the time about discipleship, about, about having spiritual elders and spiritual children. It takes all of us working together. And we can see that here in this chapter, that it is all of us working together. So my urge and my prayer today for the body of Christ is, is that we forget denominational lines, that we forget the minor differences that we see in doctrine, that we forget what we see different in each other, and that we begin to embrace each other as children of God. When we can do that, when we can embrace each other unbiasedly as children of God, then the power of God can work so much more powerfully than when we're fighting each other. We see it here. When people come together, they accomplish great things. Church, Christian body today, come together and God's going to do great things. But we have to come together. Have a super day, guys. I love you all.